spicy sauced, no, no, <laughs> saucy, spicy sauced, saucy spiced balls. <laughs> saucy spiced balls, meatballs. That's what it says, that's what it says, look. My hubby's saucy spiced meatballs. It says it right there. Why didn't we call them my hubby's saucy spicy balls? Because they're not spicy. That's why. But they're spiced. Spice. With some spice. There's a difference between spiced and spicy. There is Aleppo in there. Spice just means there's a tiny, tiny bit of Aleppo. Whatever. I think it's it's enough to, to qualify as spicy. Yo, 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 ready for this. Uh, yeah. Meatballs typically have some sort of bread content in them. Like either bread or soaked bread or bread crumbs. <laughs> either bread Lettuce. or bread or bread. Soaked bread, I said, or bread, okay? <laughs> and bread crumbs. Okay. This one has pita bread and it's soaked in milk. So we're gonna soak these. I'm just breaking them down because if you put them in whole, it's like awkward and they won't soak in the water prop uh, the water, the milk properly. You wanna move that around a bit? Babe, you're getting your hands dirty. Don't think you just came to look pretty. We have the onion. And we also need a lot of fresh parsley. And I also love that about these meatballs. They're really spice heavy and there's tons of herbs. Before you marry your partner, get them in the kitchen and make sure they know their way around. I'm just saying. Yeah, well. Ido cooked for my parents the first time he met that's them. That's true. And he made these balls. I made these balls, it's true. And they were like, okay, you can marry our daughter. It was the only reason they say fine. I'm gonna now squeeze out as much of the milk as I can. You like to break it apart in your hands after too, so it really combines into the meatball mixture. And it's gonna provide moisture on the inside of the meatball as it cooks. Ido wants his meatballs to be moist. Exactly. I'm gonna break this just with my hands like so, like so, like this, like this. Mushy, mushy, mushy. And I like to do that before I add in any of the other ingredients because I don't want big chunks. <laughs> and this is what Ido does to help out. I'm gonna put the onion right in and I'm gonna put the parsley right in. Ido is obsessed with paprika. I feel like curry powder happened to you after you met me. Freshly ground black pepper, smoked paprika. I forgot that. And this, because it's so dominant, we're putting one teaspoon. Are you ready? This is the best part. This is the best part. This is part. the best part of making meatballs. Okay. What you do is you try to get it from the bottom, scoop it up, and get it right in there. I'm really respecting the amount combine, of onions in this right now. Combine all of this together. That noise. <laughs> <laughs> this recipe calls for actually like searing the meatballs in a pot, but you know what? I'm gonna do a different way today. I preheated the oven to like 400, 425 degrees, and we're gonna roll up the balls and we're gonna lay them on a sheet tray and we're just going to put them right in there so they get caramelized on the outside and I find that A, it's less messy and it holds the, the round shape a little bit better. Plus you get to do it all at once and it takes way less time. Now, the size of the meatballs is really up to you. I, you know, I like bigger, like just to- Surprise, like surprise. Balls. Edo needs his balls to be as big as he can possibly make. I like to mimic the real ones. You don't want to care too much about how much of everything is in each. It kind of all balances out. It goes in the sauce. Next, let's do it. Let's throw those in the oven. It's preheated. It should be nice and hot. We're going to start making the sauce. And by the time the sauce is like ready to go, we're going to put those meatballs in, let them simmer together, and then they'll be ready to eat. Great. Are you chopping your onions, babe? Sure am. Usually when we cook together, well, when I'm not pregnant, we're drinking wine or beer. I love a cold beer. Oh my God, I miss alcohol so much. Everyone's like, what are you gonna name your child? And I'm like, sorry, I'm too preoccupied with daydreaming about tequila. <laughs> Seriously, we have no idea what to name this baby, guys. Please, please suggest below. That's my thought. Suggest below if you guys have any names that you think would be great. Aren't we so cute in the kitchen together? I have to say, what he did, you know how he, I was like, help me with this. He's like, I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna get out my own cutting board with my own knife and I'm gonna do the prep over here. That was something I really respected and appreciated from day one of our relationship. He knew not to get in my space. He knew that he had to get his own space and he did it. You're lefty and I'm a righty. So that just doesn't work, like elbows are bumping and 
all the onion goes in. And you start sauteing the onion, that's the first step. And then we're gonna season it. Oh, it smells so good. You don't want it too high because you don't want it to stick and burn to the bottom. But it smells amazing in here. You have to see this. It looks gorgeous. Okay, all of the spices are being released in that oil. You kind of want to cover it and let it just like do its thing. How's the balls looking? One just broke. Uh-oh, don't break my balls. So now look at that. You see how it's all kind of getting all mushy already? Without any crushed on, uh, tomatoes or anything in there, it's already kind of like soft, soft, which is great. Now you add tomatoes. Do you put your chickpeas in right away? I First I get it all crushed and like up to temperature. Add in some water. I'm just gonna use the can. I'm gonna add in these chickpeas that I rinsed. This is washed. Just run your knife through all of the cilantro. Keep those stems in. I'm putting it right in. Show them cilantro your cilantro earring. earring. Cook and make it fashion. Ding. Yeah, make it fashion. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, so now I'm just going to put the balls in. So you wanna be gentle here. Just lay them in gently, like that. The sauce is gonna finish cooking them and it's going to infuse into that meatball and the flavor from the meatball is also going to get into that sauce. So we're gonna slice a lemon, and I just love the extra bite you get from this lemon. Put in the lemons, then you want it to turn into a simmer and just let it do its thing for like 35, 45 minutes. While it simmers, get your white rice wet wetty. Get your white sweaty. Get the white sweaty. Get your white sweaty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Back to me, my turn. How slow am I? Baby brain. <laughs> it's baby brain. No. <laughs> so good. So much flavor going on. Holy moly. Who's ready for some balls? I'm ready for some balls. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of rice down. It's just kind of simmering and stewing and getting so yeah, good. Don't mix it. Leave the wedges on the top and don't cover it and just don't touch it. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at that. I put it right on top of the rice. And there's all these little treasures in here. Like when you dig in, you get the peppers and the chickpeas. So beautiful. Okay. It Got smells it. amazing. This is Edo's spiced meatball recipe. And my balls have to be in the same room while these spiced balls are being made. God help me. Otherwise they wouldn't be spiced. Is this what it's gonna be like? Help. I mean, we're going balls to the wall. <laughs>